Everywhere we looked, giant metal gods dueled with giant metal demons. The very ground gasped at the weight of them. The very sky shook. We were like ants under their feet, as tiny as ants, of no more fucking consequence than ants. That's got to be how Grenier and Corpus feel when they go up against the Warframe, right? So today's video is just a bit of a fun setup because Necros right now in game is a bit of an absolute unit. Arguably one of the best frames in the game because of what he offers with Desecrate. It is a resource heavy grind game and he gives extra resources. So having Death walk among the planets in our solo system and giving zero effects is a nice addition. Damn near invincible with well over 90% damage reduction, health scaling, bonus armor, viral retaliation buff, non-stop energy and health resupplies, 100% armor strip, extra loot for everything that you kill and he has a little ghostly platoon that will happily absorb damage, distract and kill enemies that get in your way. Not to mention the excessive healing that you can get from orbs with the right Archon shards equipped. So he has a lot and I mean a lot going for him right now and he is the best farming frame in a game where farming is what we bloody do. Now this is my death's blessing Necros, super edgy right? One that I've been having a lot of fun with since the Lewis Prey update with the change to Grendel's Nourish being a one cast multi buff ability and the addition of the new Arcane Blessing. So you're going to see a lot of videos showcasing Arcane Blessing over the next few weeks since it is the new shiny thing. Is this the start of a new health and armor meta? Hell no. And ignore anyone that says it is. Shield gating is still the superior option for anyone doing super high level content and this won't replace that. But this is a nice addition to any frame that can force health orbs to drop whether through their own ability or a subsumed one and it will give you a bonus of 1200 health when maxed out and you've picked up enough of the health orbs to activate that 1200. So you could use this instead of a vitality mod like I am here with my necros and still have a decent amount of health which would free up a slot that you were using with your vitality mod to allow you to use whatever else you wanted. Of course if you're going to be shield gating then chances are you don't have a vitality mod anyway. Frames like Grendel, Inros, Neja, Necros and a few others would be great options for this arcane to pop on. However you will need to drop out your existing arcane and chances are you probably have a damage one so you're going to have a choice to make. Right damage arcane or health increasing arcane. Arcane Blessing can be bought from Yanta on board the Zaraman for the Thrax Lua Orbs which you can farm in the new Lua Survival Missions. The Arcanes can also drop in the higher level survival missions as well but you have a guaranteed way of getting them at least off Yanta if your RNG sucks ass. So that's how you get the Arcane. This is my mod setup, you can ignore the form account, I've changed it quite a few times. I've got growing power to just bring my power strength up to above 214 for the 90% damage reduction from Shield of Shadows. You can drop it out for brief respite and use Molt Augmented as the Arcane instead of Arcane Guardian and still get up above 214. Cunning Drift for extra range on Desecrate and Terrify. Health Conversion for a bonus of 1350 armor on top of the Arcane Guardian's 900 armor. His two augments, Shield of Shadows for linking shadows and giving me damage reduction despoiled to use health instead of energy with desecrate range and duration mods and of course equilibrium for energy from health orbs and vice versa so like i said when you add arcane blessing into all of that i have a warframe at 1800 health without a health mod but i do have five archon shards equipped two of those are health orb effectiveness so basically i get more healing from health orbs that drop one of them is power strength just to help me get above that 214 and two of those are bonus health so i do have 600 health at base with two of these archon shards equipped without a vitality mod but look Mod however you want, your game, your frame go absolutely feckin' nuts. If you wanted to, you could try and fit the Terrify Augment in as well instead of your Vitality Mod if you are feeling a little bit adventurous. Stopping enemies in their tracks while also reducing their armor to zero could be a lot of fun. But if you do, let me know how it performs. Bring whatever weapons you want. I was using the Reaper Prime here with heavy attacks, but the Latum was also working great as well. At the end of the day, chances are enemies are going to have zero armor, so you should be able to kill them relatively quickly, whatever you're using. You can also bring whatever companion you want as well. Mine was the Vulpophila for viral spreading and never dying, but it also has mods equipped to force health orbs to drop as well. I have got Grendel's Nourish subsumed instead of Soul Punch, and it's pretty nice. It doesn't give me the instant heal 
that Grendel gets when he uses it, but it does give me the retaliation buff with one viral stack and it staggers enemy as well. But you could put any ability into this if you wanted to. You could even use Varuna's health orb one, which might be a little bit of overkill, but hey, that's kind of what we do in Warframe, right? Overkill. Have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching.